Money Day, guys and girls, I hope you're blessed. Uh, today with me, I have one of my students all the way from Germany. Now, if you guys have seen already the post that I put on my Instagram, on my social pages, one of my students was very fortunate enough to make over 11,000 pounds. So today I'm just going to ask her a few simple questions, figure out how she got on, how she's found our services, and most importantly, of course, how she spent the money. Um, so this is Alessa from Germany. Alessa, you're from Bonn, is that correct? Uh, yes, that's correct. Perfect. And tell, tell us a bit about yourself, Alessa. Uh, yes, I actually, uh, I'm from Germany, as you said, um, from Bonn near Cologne. I am uh, 30 years old and I'm working uh, for PricewaterhouseCoopers uh, and I'm doing, yeah, IT audits, um, yeah, during my free time, um, I'm doing a lot of sports, bodybuilding, yeah, and um, yeah, playing with my dog, <laughs> going out with friends and so on. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. So you mentioned that you um, you like to work out. Okay, you've got a dog. Yeah. What dog do you have? Um, it's like a little one, like a chocolate Yorkshire Terrier. She's like okay. six years old. Nice, okay, nice. And you also mentioned that you worked in IT, right? Um, yes. Yes, for about six or seven years now. Okay, so this sounds like you're, number one, quite smart, okay? Um, number two, it sounds like you're really busy. You know, working in IT doesn't, I mean, your job, your specific job role doesn't sound like you get much time to yourself. Um, no, actually not, um, especially during the winter, uh, which is called our busy season, yeah. uh, where we have, like, to do a lot of IT audits, and then, yeah, we're working, like... Uh, 12 hour shifts every day um, and even on the weekends so yeah that's like a very tough time we're just working eating <laughs> sleeping and repeat that all over again yeah okay so tell me then with all of what you've just said which sounds really interesting how did you find the time or even the interest to to look into forex trading um yeah so actually uh, i'm following one of your friends uh, jasmine yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and um, yeah, she did some advertising uh, for forex trading, like, hey, see how I'm funding my lifestyle and so on. And I was looking for a second uh, stream of income. Yeah. So yeah, I just had a look at your page. And um, I mean, there were a lot of people offering signals, forex coaching and so on. And there were a lot of scammers. Yeah. But um, yeah, like your profile was like very interesting. And I felt like I could trust you. So yeah. I got in touch with you and uh, we were talking about the one-on-one -on -one mentoring and um, yeah, and then we started. <laughs> yeah, amazing, amazing. So based on what you just said to me just now, um, first things first, thank you for your vote of confidence because if you didn't take that leap of faith, we wouldn't be here today talking about over 11,000 pounds of profit. Um, mm -hmm. But also number two, you know, like you live in a foreign country, you work really hard, uh, you came across my page through 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 a mutual friends page, but but most importantly, what it shows me is you wanted to earn a second source of income, which you know today is 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 an essential. You know, it's a necessity with you know uh, inflation being so high. And when you first, when did you start the course actually? When let me hear. Um, it was last year in uh, July. Yeah, then we started our mentor. Dream. Okay, so it's it's safe to say it's before the madnesses happen. Some of the madnesses, right? Russia, Ukraine, prices yeah. of oil. You know, it's before we start mm -hmm. to see the, the inflation taking a toll on, on where a company is right now, right? So, thankfully, you've been able to invest into yourself, so that now at a time when there's so much happening in the world, you're actually able to capitalize on you know a lot of the things or or have an understanding from a different perspective. You say that's. That's fair enough to agree. Mm, yeah, of course, yeah. Perfect. So moving on to some of the most important questions, okay? Um, a question that I was asked to ask you was, what pairs do you trade? Um, so actually, uh, so right now I'm just uh, trading indices. Um, okay. I specialized on the German indice, the DAX 40. Yeah. Um, and I started um, to trade uh, US 30 as well. Um, yeah, when I started trading, I was just concentrating on Forex pairs. As you told me that the indices are like very volatile. You yeah. can make a lot of money, but lose a lot of money at the same time. Yeah. So um, yeah, then back in, the back in the days, I was trading uh, DJ and EU. But yeah. then yeah, I stopped trading Forex and concentrated on the indices. 
yeah okay perfect um and how 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 much how fun have you found trading indices you know, how have you found it how have you found trading indices to, to forex um so today i think i can't trade forex anymore because um yeah i'm just looking at the indices and um so i mean you told me different things different instruments i can use when i'm trading and um I picked like a couple of instruments like a market structure, eye candles, lip blocks, areas of mitigation. And that's what I usually use for trading indices. Yeah. Um, but these things I feel like are not working as well as on Forex pairs. So I'm just looking at these pairs like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. So yeah, I think I will just stick to uh, the indices. Yeah, okay, yeah. fair enough. And in regard to how you trade, because um, you mentioned a few different um specific terminologies that people may or may not understand so um in in regards to how you trade can you explain a little bit on that are you a retail trader do you trade with support and resistance indicators do you use indicators um yes yeah, so actually yeah i'm just using the concept that you have taught me which is like the institutional concept um so i'm not using any kind of trends lines or so on yeah. um I mean, as institutional traders, we have to be a little bit more patient and maybe wait longer for our setups to play out. Yeah. But I feel like it's very rewarding to yeah, wait a little bit longer and stay in the trades longer. Yeah. So I really like the concept you are teaching your students. Amazing. And one thing I wanted to also congratulate you on is the fact that you've seen the course through. Um, it was a six month course, but of course, when you have no experience, to you know to having a bit of experience to then you know your eyes being opened and you know coming across loads of different things you know you've really fully submerged yourself into this into this industry six months ago you, have, you didn't have a scooby-doo right you didn't know what a tip was what a trend line none of that you didn't know anything right and to see you grow from six months ago well it's been longer than six months but to see you grow from from the start to where you are now, it's really eye-watering to for me to understand that what I'm doing is actually making a difference. And not only is it making a difference, but there's people out there like yourself who actually really appreciate it. So a massive pat on your back, Alessa, because I've taught hundreds of people and not everyone sees it through. Some people get to month four, month five, they think, you know what, I've learned enough, this is okay. I'm gonna do my own thing and best of luck to them. Some people have got to month three or four, or even month two, even month one, and said, you know what, this is too much. I like the idea of making money, but not doing this, I'm out, right? And you've, you've stuck it through. You've stuck it through. You've got yourself funded accounts. You've put yourself in a position where you're living the dream. This, this is the end goal of what every trader aspires to do, right? They aspire to say, yep, yeah, I'm going to learn to trade, and one day I'll be, I'll be trading life funds, hundreds of thousands of dollars, right, or euros in your case and you're living that dream. So just tell us a bit about the process that you've actually gone through, because of course, you know, like you said, you was working a, uh, a normal job. Now you're learning, and now you're making money trading. And now you're of course trading funded accounts. Like how has that, how has that felt for you? What emotions have you gone through? Yeah, so actually in the beginning, it was uh, very tough because I was, as you said, still working full time um, and, I basically gave up my life for that half year because um, during my free time, so after work, um, I was just dealing with trading. So we had uh, yeah one um, one one or two hours um, a week for our like lesson to learn new stuff. Then I had the homework session a couple of days after that. I have to go over the recordings. I have to do my homework. I have to prepare for our tests. So yeah, and then the beginning, I didn't understand anything. <laughs> so I was like, okay, what is he trying to teach me here? But yeah, uh, yeah after like a couple of weeks, it got uh, more and more sense. Um, yeah. And I really wanted to try this and get to the end of the course and um, yeah, get like the second income stream. And uh, I got more and more confident. And uh, yeah, when I got my uh, first live account, that was actually very uh, rewarding to see that um, all the money or the work I put in it's now finally paying out. Yeah, so I just want to bring you back to a moment, okay? I don't know if you remember, um, but for those who are unaware, how our education uh, academy works is we give you a lesson on a Monday or Tuesday, for example. We set you homework, which will be due by the end of the week. 
And then on a Thursday or Friday, we spend half an hour going over the homework with you. And then at the end of the month, we give you a test based on what you've learned throughout the whole month. Now, I remember there was a, there was a window, there was a specific week, Alessa, when you provided me your homework and I was shocked. Do you remember? And I think you either gave it to me, you gave me a spreadsheet. I think you, I think you wrote out a spreadsheet. It was either a spreadsheet or a... Yeah, I was always preparing laws with a PowerPoint presentation yeah, with my notes. A, yeah, it was either <laughs> a spreadsheet or it was a PowerPoint. And I sat back and I thought, wow, this is really detailed. Like I've, I've never had a student that's gone to this extent to actually mark out their homework. You know, like this, I could, I could tell this meant something to you. And I remember saying to you, like, you're going to go really far with this type of attitude and this type of care in, in your own work. You're going to go really far. And it goes to show, you know, that was probably two, three months into the course, you know, six months later, you finished the course. And now you, you got yourself in a funded position. And, and even more so, now you're working part time, is it? Um, so I'm actually off work. I'm on holiday and um, yeah, I had a lot of overtime during the winter. So now I'm off for like five months and um, I'm experiencing, <laughs> yeah, but I still get paid. So um, yeah, I can concentrate. Yeah, I can concentrate on trading and live the life of a full-time trader, um, which is also sometimes very exhausting um, yeah. sitting in front of the charts, yeah. even when you're in my position, because I would like um, to quit my job when I'm like a, a yeah, consistent and successful trader. Yeah, yeah. that's like my goal. <laughs> yeah, well, well, let me just say this to you here, okay? You are a successful trader, right? That's the number one, you are a successful trader. You are what you tell yourself, and, I, and I've seen your results to, to be able to tell you that you're a successful trader. All we have to do is just bat, battle our emotions and battling our emotions is the hardest part. But if we've got a formula and we can replicate the formula, then you know the blueprint is set set in stone all we have to do is just clock in and clock out and just do the same things over and over right mm -hmm. now your first month of your funded account okay i think it was your first month your first payout alessa mm -hmm. please and do you mind <laughs> you mind if uh ah uh, it's okay I was going to say, I was going to probably put your certificate. Yeah, in fact, I might do that, actually. I might, um, I might if you can send your certificate or, or, yeah, or yeah. Something, you know, something from FTMO, I can just mm -hmm. pick it up and just show people, look, you know, this is the payout. But tell us, how much was the payout? Get 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 yes. the duffel bag. Go and get the duffel bag. <laughs> put the money in the table. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the first payout was um, a little bit more than um, 11,000 pounds and it's like 13 or 14,000 euros. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was like um, my first period. No, so. no, no, no. Tell us exactly how much it was. This is important. <laughs> 11,000 and two pounds, we want to know. <laughs> oh, I actually need to look it up. I don't know the uh, exact oh, okay. number. Too much yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, I actually had a daily goal and yeah. Um, yeah, I put on a few trades every day. Um, I prepared some setups and um, took the trades. And yeah. when I was uh, done for the day and reached my daily target, I actually stopped trading and then yeah, continued trading the next day. So I could like compound my account more and more every day. Yeah, okay, okay, amazing, perfect. And tell me, when you got that payout, how did it feel? Yeah, very good, very rewarding. <laughs> so, so, how, so, okay, so let's, let's go through the payout stage now. So. They sent you an email, uh, email, email, invoice. You filled it out. Then they said to you, what? The money will be with you, what, 24 hours, couple of days? Um, so as um, the, the company FTMO was not based in Germany, I thought it could like uh, take even one or two weeks until I get um, the money in my bank account. Mm -hmm. But it took like 24 hours. And then, yeah, I already got the money. So I was very surprised. And I already also got an email from them if I've received my payout. So um, yes, they are making sure that um, yeah, the trader are getting their power payouts when they are like sticking to the rules. And um, yes, that is very important to them. So yeah, it was a good feeling yeah, to have finally the money in, in their own bank account. Amazing. So when you saw that money in your bank account, do you remember where you was, what you was doing? 
No, I actually can't remember yet, but I, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's good. That's that's amazing. And I think one of the most important things when we're trading as well, especially as you mentioned, you know, you, you spend a lot of time trading at home. You know, a lot of the times we fail to to um, we fail to congratulate ourselves and actually reward ourselves. OK, and. As you you know you mentioned, trading is something that it's it, it can take a toll on you right? quite emotionally, especially if you're sitting down working from home. Some of the things that can definitely help is 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 going out and about. You know, if you've taken a few losing trades, rather than me just sitting at home doing nothing and or, or sitting at home back at my desk and waiting for another entry, let me go out, go for a coffee quickly, or go to the gym. Go for a quick bike ride. Just, you know, do something that can release some endorphins to feel good and then come back and put myself in the same, in the same, um, back in the same scenario. Not in the same scenario, in the same environment, okay? Um, having that release can be really good for us. And it's something that's helped me um, control my losses. You know, when I'm, because like yourself, I work from home, I've got my office set up and yeah, you know, I can, I can, I can make a lot of money from my house, but when I'm losing money, I often can find that I don't really have an outlet. So, you know, I've got myself an outdoor gym and um, I go out if I need to go out, but I always try to make sure that there's a, a disconnection when things are going wrong so that I can actually re-energize elsewhere and then come back into the fold. So with yourself trading, you know, I take my hat off to you because you've, you've grinded it out. And I mean, when I was teaching you, I was also working from home because I was teaching you throughout lockdown. So. It's been a really tough two years for everyone, and you're just a, a, a prime example of of someone that doesn't doesn't believe in excuses. You know, you worked a job which was pretty hard and time consuming. You're in another time zone, but yet you've still stuck it out. A six month course, you've paid top dollar for it, and now the rewards have been paid back to you in your bank account in less than twenty four hours. You know mm -hmm. that in itself shows you, and it's a prime example of of what consistency and perseverance does. So um, I wanted to award you a certificate. I guess we'll do it virtually, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I'm gonna hand you a certificate. I'll put it in our Discord and our trading community. And we really wanna congratulate you for being one of our funded uh, Lit Capital traders. Um, we do believe that when we expand, we will have a place for you at our, at our desk anywhere in the world. That our, Anywhere in the world where we've got a seat, your seat will be there. Um, and we really want to connect with you and, and provide you with the support that you deserve. But we also want to use your story um, as a story to influence and, and motivate others. It's, you know, it's, it's not quite often. I mean, you, you're in our trading community. It's not every day we come across people from Germany. We've come across some German speakers, but, you know, not every day we come across people who are actually living in Germany. So we'd like you know, for when that does happen one day, for, for them to look at Alessa, the superstar, and say, <laughs> you know, she's not Thomas Muller, she's not, uh, 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 what's the other guy's name? What's the other guy's name? Or oh, Schweinsteiger, Philip Lahm. Okay, I'm gonna name you the best <laughs> German players. I know. Mesut Ozil, Mesut Ozil. Okay, she's not Mesut Ozil, she's Alessa. Okay. <laughs> And that will really be a beacon of hope for people. This is an industry that's forever growing. I mean, a, a question I wanted to ask you as well is regarding where we're currently at at the moment with the stock market uh, and with the economy, especially with you being based in Germany, where do you see things heading? Do you see us going into a recession? Do you think we're already there? Do you feel like inflation, the cost of living is going to keep on getting uh, more expensive or do you, how can you see in your in your country in your in your community that prices are already starting to get cheaper and there's more more job opportunities opening up? Um, so the, the the problem is uh, especially uh, here in Germany, but I think it's um, yeah same in a couple of other countries that things are getting um, expensive more and more because of the inflation, but at the same time our salaries are staying the same. So yeah. it's like a, a struggle for the people um, yeah, to um, pay everything, like the living costs and so on. We don't even talk about holiday and luxury yeah. goods. It's just about paying the rent, paying the grocery and so on. Um, I think we are going towards a recession. Um, and I also think that the um, central banks have reacted like 
um, not early enough. I think the um, interest should have increased way earlier yeah. um, to prevent going inflation like to the moon, <laughs> as Elon Musk would say. <laughs> um, yeah, but we need to see. Um, I hope that um, like the tools of the central banks, especially ECB here for uh, Germany, are working very well and that inflation is going um, yeah, back down, uh, yeah. it's decreasing. Um, yeah, and that everyone can afford like um, yeah, living costs again, oh. like rent, groceries oh. and so on. Yeah, yeah, because um, of course the, the world is getting a lot more expensive and, and it's even more important right now if you don't already have some type of second source of income to generate one. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you know, you're living proof that generating a secondary source of income doesn't mean it happens overnight. You know, it means there's a process to it. There's a there's a term of investment, you know, and there's a there's a period of time. And what you've shown us is that uh, time is more important than price. You know, it doesn't matter how much money you have to invest. If you don't understand how to invest, you're lost. And understanding how to invest takes time. You've taken the time to learn a skill set that you could now transfer to anyone in your family or anyone you care about. And most importantly, now you've given yourself a fighting chance to be able to make money anywhere you are around the world. So, Alessa, yeah. I want to say a massive thank you for taking the time to speak to us today and the audience. Uh, what I would like to do is actually get you on a market outlook with myself. OK, so this weekend we'll do a market outlook. Um, I'm not sure when I release this video, but when I do release this video, um where can where can they where can uh, the followers check you out and 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 drop you a message mm -hmm. what's your just instagram? text me yeah that's no problem what, what's your instagram she said text me <laughs> <laughs> my instagram um yeah it's actually just alessa bach so my first and my last name okay so spell that so people can understand alessa alessa um, e s s a and the last name is uh, Bach, B-A-C-H. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, Alessa, again, thank you so much for jumping on our, our uh, conversation, jumping on this, on this call for us today. And I hope that you have a great day. I'm sure I'll speak to you a bit later on. Um, guys, if you're watching this video and you found it valuable, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. You know the vibes, it's lit side. Um, always remember, guys, every day is... Money day. Money day. Peace. Yeah.